Six teams. Four games. One road to the finals. The regular season marks the first step of their treacherous journey. Every kick, lap, headshot, and goal will bring them one step closer to being the world champions. But first, they've got to compete with North America's finest. There will be winners, there will be losers, and there will be only one champion. This is season two of the Championship Gaming Series. Y'all ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Championship Gaming Series online presentation of the 2008 North American regular season. It's already been a fantastic night here, heated battles. We've seen two battles take place, and now we're here for the third and final one for the evening. It's New York versus Dallas. And to help me tell this story, to my left, I've got none other than Swoozy. That's Happy me. to be here, buddy. Um, yeah, dude, I mean, this is, this is it. I mean, New York. Yeah. Dallas. Yeah. It's it's epicness. All right. Well, That's, I don't expect anything less. I I hope we uh, I hope we get epicness yes. out of this matchup, and I expect we've got some great little uh, stories and rivalries set that up here. We do. And we've also got another member of the Championship Gaming Series online team joining us as a sideline reporter, Cami Vicencio. Cami. Thank you, DJ. We're well, glad to be here, and since it's our last match, I'm kind of sad, but I'm excited for tomorrow as well. That's right. The action won't end. It won't? And no. Good. No. Well, I get we to have back to tomorrow. go to sleep. But yeah, we're going to be back tomorrow. In fact, okay. we're going to be on for the next 10 days, Swoozie. So Let's they're going to be sick of your nice face by yes. the time this is all over. That's what I like to hear. Guys, before we get started in the action between Dallas and 3D New York, we want to tell you a little bit about how these players actually made it here to the regular season. There's a combine. There's a draft. Well, I could go through the whole thing, but let's you just watch the too. package. Yes. Roll 2008. The the road. In the 2007 <laughs> CGS season, six formidable North American teams battled through the regular season, playoffs, and ultimately crowned one winner from an amazing pool of talent. In a historical North American final, the Chicago Chimera defeated the Carolina Corps by one point to become the first ever CGS North American champion. <laughs> In the World Finals, these two teams met again, and the Chicago Chimera proved their North American win was not a fluke and became the number one CGS team in the world. As the global season came to a close, the next challenge for CGS players had just begun. The players escaped to their training grounds to prepare themselves for the 2008 North American Draft at South by Southwest in March of 2008. After a tough combine which let existing and new players demonstrate their skills to the six North American general managers, a live draft was held to build the six North American teams for the 2008 season. Some players were franchised, some players were protected, and the rest were at the mercy of the general manager's picks to ensure them a spot in the 2008 North American season. The end result was six new North American teams with new faces and old faces. And now these teams will be put to the test. Who will triumph? Who will crumble? And who will be left as the last team standing in the 2008 North American season? Well, six teams have been through and will compete tonight or have Correct. competed. So that means that there will be three winners, Swoozy. It's got to happen. There is a certain way that these teams actually have to How? win. How? And the... Well, I'm going to tell you They right win, here. but explain to me They win. Five detail. games are played, ten players total. Well, I could reel it off once Another again. Another clip. But, uh, yeah. Yes. One more. Let's find out how the <laughs> CGS franchise scoring actually works. Here's how the CGS scoring system works. Every point in every game is added to the team's overall score, making each point in every game incredibly important. In FIFA 08, each goal is one point for a player's team. Any shootout goal also counts as one point each. In Forza Motorsports 2, first place wins four points for the team, second place wins two points, and third place wins one. In Dead or Alive 4, win a round, get a point. 
First player to win five rounds wins the match, but the loser still earns a point for each round he or she wins. And in Counter-Strike Source, the winner of each round gets one point. The first team to win 10 rounds wins the match, but there are important points at stake as the remaining rounds are played out. The key is that every point in every game contributes to the team's match total. If you can't recite that word for word <laughs> by the end of this 10 days, then you haven't been paying attention. Let's introduce nice. the teams. We've got New York and Dallas, and we're going to start with 3D New York. Uh, a team that's been around forever. Yeah. I can remember my first uh, entry into esports in 3D was was still around. They had a really great training camp record, 3-1-1, had a tie. The only team to franchise a FIFA player, that was Wizacor, and yeah. he's obviously looking to step up tonight versus Barmoa. Definitely. And the Stronga Forza, uh, Forza 2 team preseason, Darkstorm and Comeback Dan, uh, impressed me over and over again during the training camp. Only Good suffered blood. one loss. I'm excited to see them in regulation me too, play. Me too. There's general manager Dave Gaffon, and uh, we're going to move on to the next team, of course, the Dallas Venom. I like those guys. Uh, I like the Dallas <laughs> Venom, too. There, there they, they are right there, starting oh, off with Master? Master and no. Chaos. And the whole crew's there, actually. That's Muffin Man, I think I see. Oh, it's Jax. It's Jax. Oh, my gosh. So a strong DOA male, of course, Master, Hold come on. back to really prove himself. Uh, Counter-Strike Source team has added Sun Man to the roster, and that yes. was a very, very... Big pickup there for the Dallas Venom. So I'm excited to see Me how too. these new teams and how these new faces are actually going to perform. And we're going to be kicking things off with FIFA for this matchup tonight. And that means that we're going to see the only franchise FIFA player in action for 2008 Wizacor. versus uh, Wizacor, right? Versus a brand new face this to the championship gaming series, Bar Moa. And uh, we're going to meet these players in just a second. But FIFA's been great so far in Definitely. the last two oh, matches. Sturmy, hello. Sturmy. Fantastic, Has fantastic Has just left the building. Up. Wow. And uh, he came to play. And I hope if that you these two it. players also came to play. Let's introduce our first FIFA player from the night. From 3D New York, it's Wizacor. And there he, once again, only FIFA player franchised by his original team and the number one FIFA player of the 2007 season. Love this guy. Have you he's seen his calm. MySpace page? He's collecting. I haven't. Dude, he's got a whole blinged out, like, 3D <laughs> logo. It's, wow. It's, I think he photoshopped it, but it's pretty hot. Oh, uh, well, uh, Wizacor is definitely all game today. Yes. And he's got uh, that face going. And he's going to go up against a newcomer to the mm -hmm. league, and uh, that is Barmoa. And uh, there he is right there, a 2-3 record in training camp. And he had a win over Wizacor. Yes. So this is sort of like a training camp rematch Indeed. that everyone's been waiting to see. He's one of two new FIFA drafts in 2008, the other being Ifra. Yeah. And, uh, but looking to represent the Dallas Venom as best as he can today. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So very excited to see this matchup. We've got sort of a new face versus an old face, mm -hmm. Suzy. And these sorts of matchups are, are always really exciting because you've got a guy who's well-established yes. versus a guy who wants to be established. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. He's probably sitting at home last season watching, like, I need to be there someday. And, and now he's here. He's now he's shot. here. Definitely. So real quickly, before we get the game started, let's find out how FIFA works. Dead or Alive 4 is an intense one-on-one -on -one mixed martial arts showdown in which competitors try to knock out their opponents using kicks, punches, special moves, and counterattacks. Fighters also need to... What, what the players don't know is that FIFA 09 actually features a fully functional yes. combat system. You weren't supposed to let that As out well yet. as soccer, it's yeah. The bag now. All right, hey, let's just get to the game, Susie. Might it's the well, least I we mean, can do for they know what's coming now for next season. <laughs> <Man. laughs> All right, the game is starting right now. Let's go ahead and toss it on over. It is going to be 3D versus Dallas. Let's check this out right now. And I do have a breakdown here, Susie, of hey, the players. Got? What you got, my friend? Uh, but we'll go into the game. And here we go. So Wizacor is going to be playing as Spain in the white. And France is going to be playing as, well, excuse me, Barmoa is going to be playing as France in the blue. Uh, so once again, Wizacor, Spain in the white. Just remember, Wizacor is in the white. And Barmoa is playing as France in the blue. Uh, so here we are. And of course, we've got a FIFA Sounds, which is fantastic. We're Beautiful. starting things off. Wizacor gets a nice ball up his field. And Barmoa is going to go ahead and send it back to his goalie. We saw a fantastic, fantastic actually we saw a really yeah. wide vari uh, variety yes. of FIFA matches. In the yes. first match with Chicago and, and Carolina, we saw a, a non-scoring FIFA match that went to a shootout. Yes. Then we saw Sturmy 
pretty much go pray to the FIFA yeah, gods. Yeah, and, and they answered it. They answered yes. <laughs> they did, big time. Against Cregan BG, he mm -hmm. went four and one, uh, or, or four goals, uh, four and, and one goal oh, against. Oh my gosh, wow, I'm not. That was offsides. Okay, but that was offsides, yes. Uh, it was in the moment. <laughs> strolled into the goal. Uh, not a goal, not officially. That one was offsides. That was just practice. Um, I believe that was offsides on Barmoa. He was just a little bit ahead. Um, uh, of the uh, of the other defender there. So now he's Barmo is making his way up the field. Wizzacore is going to stop it. He should be able to get a clear ball out here. Yeah, he actually tries to clear it off of a uh, member of Barmoa's team. And so we'll have a throw in here for Wizzacore. But yeah, so I mean, we've had a, just a wide variety of games. And, you know, I've heard some people say, oh, nice, nice ball. Nice but great catch there by the goalie. Uh, I've heard some people say that, you know, maybe FIFA 08 is going to be a, a lower scoring game. Correct, but correct. I, I actually got to say, after seeing the first two matches of the season, Out the gate. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, honestly, same thing. At the combine, I did hear a little few whispers, people saying they don't know if FIFA 08 is going to work on TV. They don't know if it's going to work in the CGS. Apparently, it's already been answered that. Well, you know, I look at it. The first match, we had a shootout. Yes. Loved it. Second yes. match, we, we saw Sturmey take four. Oh, my gosh. Almost in right there. Looked like a little mini header there, but the goalie was able to stop it. Uh, so anything could happen here. Definitely. We're halfway through, or just about halfway through regulation time here. And we see uh, Wizzacor in the white controlling the ball at midfield. He's going to send it up. He's got a lot of defense to try to hack through here. He's going to try to steal it away, but Barmoa is going to be able to grab that. Wizzacor tries to go in for the steal there. Barmoa's got a pretty good setup right here. He's going to send it up, and uh, I think he tried to send it there to the middle of the box, but uh, the goalie came out maybe a little too close to the goal, and now Wizzacor is going to try to work his magic here, sending it up uh, real, real far uh, near the goal of Barmoa. Nothing done there, but this is more like the first match we saw where it yeah. was really back and forth. Now, is it just me, or is uh, soccer more entertaining to watch in the CGS as opposed to real life? You know. I, I mean, I, don't, I, I, I keep having to tell people I don't want to sound biased or anything, <laughs> but I can sit here and watch this, you know, anytime. But the whole real deal soccer is, is it just me, or do you get it's, that too? You know, I, I get that too, but, okay. you know, I... You I'm keep sure, it on low. I'm sure uh, other people would say different. So. <laughs> uh, here, we, here we go back to the action. 33 minutes on regulation clock. Of course, uh, that's sped up a little bit. We're not actually playing 45 minute halves here in We're the not? CGS. And uh, great little launch there uh, by Barmoa. Unfortunately, Wizacord just gets there too quickly with his defenders. It's a nice pass to midfield. He's going to try to send it up again. And it's a little unusual. Wizzacor seems to be uh, really clearing the ball from mm -hmm. midfield yeah. up towards Barmoa's goal. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it's really helping him out offensively too much. He's going to juke around that player right there. He's got it at midfield once again. He sends it back uh, to his defenders. Now sending it up. And there it is again, sort of wildly sending the ball up. And maybe he's just looking for that chance. Uh, but right now, I, I feel like he, he, he spreads out his offense a little bit more and has a chance to throw off his defense if he's passing the ball around a little bit. But each right. of these players has their own style of play. Here we've got Barmoa. He's got the chance to break through. Goes oh, through one wow. defender, a second go. one. Oh, fires it in. Oh, so just wide of the goal so to the close. left. And uh, I don't think his teammate's very happy about <laughs> that. But uh, there it is. Look at that. Just uh, right there just to left, just wide of the goal, and then we're going to see it another time. Maybe but, next uh, time. Barmoa makes a, a nice attempt at goal. Unfortunately, it does not go through for him, so Wizzacore is going to send a short goal. And there's that big yeah, launch once again. And maybe that is his, uh, maybe strategy. that's a nice uh, header back to the goalie. A little risque there. Yeah. We're now uh, through regulation time. We've got some penalty time up on the board. Barmoa may have one more strike at goal, but no. It's going to be sent back to the goalie by Wizzacore. Wizzacore is going to now try to clear it. He might have one more chance uh -oh. here. He's happen. on the outside from the right. He better get What's that shot happen? off quick. It's nice job, happen. sends oh, it off to the side. Oh, stop. goalie dives stop. for it. Stop, and goalie is able to grab it. That is going to be the end of the first half. And we're going to go right into the second no half. Hesitation. No hesitation at all. The clock just keeps on going. Of course, the players have switched sides. If you just joined us, 3D New York Wizzacore playing a Spain in the white. And his opponent, up, up. Oh, oh, nice job. Beautiful. His opponent, Dallas Venom Barmoa, playing as France in the blue. Barmoa blocked that with his face. That, that's kind of <laughs> what it looked like there. 
Uh, Wizzacore with control, sent it up midfield. It's going to pass it around this time a little bit more. Let's see if he clears it upfield. It did upfield, but not so much uh, wildly like he did. Instead. And he might break away. He's got a chance here. It's going to be one versus two, and the defenders of Armola clear that one. And uh, Wizzacore is going to be able to stop it. At, uh, at his midfield, now clears it forward. That distortion, do you see that scroll down the screen? Yeah, I, I heard. That's just the uh, Okay. <laughs> we had Cregan, I overheard him saying something about. Oh, oh. oh, something about FIFA? Yeah, Cregan was saying that he, he's noticing that distortion on his oh, really? also. Really? So I wasn't sure if that's what he was talking about or well, not. Well, that might be it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We had another uh, shot on goal again from Barmoa, but Barmoa goes just a little over the top of the goal, and so that's going to be his second solid goal attempt. Uh, Wizzacor now going to actually make a, an assault here on the goal of Barmoa. Barmoa's uh, uh, goalie's just going to kind of play with it back there, then finally send it out. Not sure if that was the wisest move. Wizzacor's gotten a chance uh -oh. to throw it up here. Might have gone a little bit past the goal, but he's got uh, another uh, shot here. Uh, uh, Jukes around that oh. defender, comes in. Goalie did not look like he was ready for that. Could have been a potential score for Wizzacor. Uh, but not that time, and uh, we are definitely well into the second half now, and we could go into shootout yeah, mode here. I was here. gonna say, what do you think, man? You think it's gonna be shootout? It's possible, but out? dude, there's still so much time I left know. on the clock. Uh, these are two fantastic players, I, I, both of them goal capable. Mm -hmm. um, so it really just may come down to who has that best little breakaway. Yeah. yeah. And here's another uh, chance for Wizzacor. Sends oh, it right to the middle. Oh. oh, just to the right of the goal. With barely. Pixels away. And uh, Barmoa is <laughs> going to send that one up midfield. Both these guys now getting some solid shots on gold. wizacor has got control with his defenders. He's going to clear that one way up. Try to get a forward on that one, but Barmoa is going to be there for it. He tries to come back. Nice pass over. Oh. He's got another chance right here. Oh. Offsides on that one. Let's check that out one more time. Yeah, he's definitely offside. So how does no that break down that. exactly? Help me out with that, with the offsides now. I've seen that happen, but exactly how do you know when it's getting ready to come? Okay, this is probably going to be a terrible explanation Go of it. Go for it. But basically, as a as an uh, offen uh, as the offense, uh -huh. you can't just put a striker near the goal okay. and just have him wait for a free ball to All come. Right. And that's what he so did. So offsides basically means that you have to be behind a defender okay. as the ball comes uh. to. Okay. So because he was way ahead okay. of the last defender, I mean, soccer wouldn't be that fun if right. the three strikers just hung <laughs> out with the goalie the whole time. Kind of like so three seconds in the key, kind of like exactly. basketball. Got a little it. bit, got right. It. Got it. Uh, so that was probably a very poor explanation. Oh, no, that was very good. Okay, I, I, okay. I, well, I, to. I feel better I'm now. educated. Susie. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> here we go. one question I had about this game. Back to, <laughs> back to the action. <laughs> Wizzacore with a potential uh, shot here. No, he's going to recover it there at midfield of Barmoa's side there. Passing it around, really trying to mix it up here uh, against Barmoa's defense. But uh, Barmoa breaks oh, away. Nice. Great pass very now. Nice. It's going to be a one versus two. He's going to send it to the outside. He's got uh, he's got some potential here. He's going to have to clear it. He clears it mid before oh. the box. Oh. A header comes out. And an easy pickup for the goalie. Eight virtual minutes away from the end of this game. And we may go uh, to a shootout here. Shootout uh, did not work out so well for Anomaly in the first matchup. Yeah. And that allowed Efer to win that one. Oh, Wizzacore not going to have a chance here as the goalie comes out of uh, the box to pick that one up. Clears it, three more minutes of virtual play left, and then we'll probably have a couple virtual minutes of uh, injury time. Wizzacore is gonna take this one nice and slow as he spreads out the defense and sends it up the field. Switches off to the outside, then uh -oh. back to the middle. Uh -oh. And I think that we probably had uh, another offside there. I wasn't able to, no, actually it must have been, it was a penalty on Barmoa, mm. so this is a, this is a I chance get a lot of shot. Those. When I play, I get a lot of penalties. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. over the goal, and you do have the opportunity to uh, sink those, but uh, that was a little bit over there. And uh, regulation time is up. So uh, the bell could sound, the whistle could sound any moment now. Wizzacore might be the last, uh, last one to actually make a true attack on goal. And Barmoa's going to clear it, so I think that's probably going to hit. Barmoa clears it to the center, uh -oh, uh -oh, has one final uh -oh. chance. Oh, my gosh, so shoots close. it from outside the box. The goalie so gets a close. piece of it. It goes outside. That means that Barmoa is going to recover with a corner kick, sends it right into the middle of the box, Ooh. and the goalie 
Gosh, the goalie shoved one of our Moa's players into the goal. And, he jumped uh, over him. <laughs> so Wizzacor uh, sends that up. He's got a nice little position here. He's going to try to get one final shot on goal if he can. But uh, the wi there it is. Yep. The whistle is blown. Guess what? We're going we to shootouts. 0-0 zero, zero after regulation. All right. 90 minutes down. That means we're going to be going to shootouts here. And solid game by both players. Definitely. definitely. I do not believe that that either of them, uh, like, you know, b both of them had mm -hmm. their key moments. Yeah. Both of them had solid shots. Mm -hmm. Both of them played smart. Yep. I think they had good defense. So it's going to come down to this, and uh, it's going to be very interesting. And remember, all these points. Here we go. Bam. First one. one. And then we see our first one. Uh, actually, yep, that was uh, that was Barmo with this yep. first one. And uh, we Wizzacore. see Wizzacore pick up his first one. Barmoa oh, again. Barmoa scores number two. Nice oh, job. Uh, Wizzacore scores his second. We're tied 2 2. Bend him back up. Oh, stop. Oh, right down the middle. There Not go. good. What's going to happen? A save there and by Wizzacore. Oh. And he's got to make this one. That was in. Wizzacore up 3 2 now. Barmoa's got to make this. He needs this. this one. He needs it. No pressure. He's going to hold on to it no just pressure. a little bit. Just let it sink in. He's going to no wait pressure. for it. Try to just breathe through the ball. Make it one. <laughs> Three to two. We had one missed goal here by Barmoa on his third shot. It's now his fourth shot. Here he goes, right oh. down the middle again, and it did not work out. And I believe that that means uh, if this is made by Wizzacore, it will be all over. Okay. So big shot here. He's walking it out. By Wizzacore, the only franchised go? FIFA player in the CGS, using that mental game to his advantage. Boom, right uh, down the middle. Okay. Oh, it stopped, and okay. uh, Barmoa's still in this one. Barmoa has to make this. Oh, oh. It is over. He missed it. Thank you. So the, the points play out then? 3-2. Three, two. Three, two. There it is, 3-2. Basic math, Thank 101. You, we'll be going the there man. tomorrow. <laughs> so we are going to have Wizzacore winning 3-2 uh, to two in the shootout. Uh, after Barmoa missed the first two, I guess he couldn't make it up, and yeah. that makes sense, and that Came was my fault, so you, you can flog right. me. Uh, but uh, that was a fantastic it matchup, was. solid defense. We went to uh, we went to the shootout, yeah. and, you know, I'm not sure why Barmoa shot it down the middle, but Wizzacore came out on top. Wizzacore We've got our sideline reporter, Cami Vicencio, with Wizzacore from 3D New York. Cami, over to you. Thanks, sweet. I'm here with uh, 3D New York's Wizzacore. Uh, you guys pretty much dragged on through the whole game. It was neck and neck, uh, no scoring, but it did go down to the shootout. How did you feel uh, entering into the shootout with um, with, with the zero zero score? I uh, hope I guessed right. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's about it. We back to you at the desk. Thanks, Cammy. And it is kind of a guessing it's game. It's through the paper point. almost. Yeah. Like you go left. You go right. right or you go center. Yeah. Well, this so. is going to happen. We're moving on, and uh, before we do, we're going to take a look at the scoreboard, Still and close. there it is. Still Very close. close. One point separating these two teams. 3D New York picks up three. Wizzacore wins that one. Dallas Venom, nothing to be ashamed of. Yep. Two points up on the board, and our next matchup is, is. going to be Dead or Alive dun, dun, Male. Dun, dun. Chappelle versus master coming up right now. So uh, very Double excited header. for this one. Absolutely. Back to back DOA action, just like yeah. I like to see it. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, we've got now Dead or Live Male mm -hmm. immediately following that. We're going to have Dead or Live Female, yes. but very exciting matchup. Again, uh, another instance where we've got a player mm -hmm. who played for another team yeah. last year Dave and now has been picked up uh, here by 3D New York. Let's go ahead and meet our first team, 3D New York, Chappelle. Ayane played for Optics in, se uh, in season one. And, uh, you know, always in good spirits. Mm -hmm. Chappelle's always here to, to give a good game. Yep. And uh, I expect to, to see some good stuff out of him. He did very well at the Combine also for 08 in Texas. So, I mean, this guy definitely has proven that he has the skill to be here. And he's going up against a guy who, if you followed the CGS for a while, CGI you know one. this guy. Right. CGI, CGI two. 2. And CGS. Uh, CGS season he, 1. Another guy who needs no introduction. And he is for Dallas Venom. We're going to give Master. him Master. Yes. There he is. Uh, characters, Ryu Hayabusa, possibly the uh, Maybe. Uh, alternative, Hayate. Hayate. Mm -hmm. Aggressive style, experienced. He's played with most of these players for many, many oh, years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, really, I 
I, I can't wait to see this. I'm match. looking forward to it. This is this guy right here, Master, is probably the most aggressive player in the CGS. I, I'll go on record with that one. All right. Well, let's find out how DOA breaks down here in the Championship Gaming Series. Dead or Alive 4 is an intense one-on-one -on -one mixed martial arts showdown in which competitors try to knock out their opponents using kicks, punches, special moves, and counterattacks. Fighters also need to avoid the built-in dangers of arenas where they battle, including passing cars, angry cheetahs, and exploding floors. If neither fighter has been knocked out by the end of the one minute round, the fighter with the most health left wins. The first warrior to win five rounds wins the match, but every winning round counts as one point towards the team's match total.